Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chris, a.k.a. Barnum 11970, and this will be the trifecta of videos for the day. Um, I actually want to thank one of my subscribers. I think it's uh, XMoDeep. I'm not sure if I get it correctly, so I apologize if it's not correct. Uh, but he made an interesting statement in uh, one of my recent videos that I wanted to make a video on because I actually think this is important. Um, it was my video regarding me purchasing two ounces of palladium. And his comment was basically, well, most people are selling palladium right now and going for gold and silver. Why are you doing that? And basically, I explained that, you know, if people that watch my channel know, I've been collecting gold and silver since basically 2006. So I would say I have a fair amount of gold and silver at this point. Uh, before I purchased these two one ounce palladium bars, I only had a total of one ounce of palladium. So I'm not going all in on palladium. I just thought it would be nice to expand and try different things but this is what i want me people to understand at least for myself i don't do what most people do because if you've studied history and you learn what's really going on you learn that most people are followers most people just accept things like for example most people thought that at one point for hundreds of years that the world was flat most people think our governments are actually there to assist the people. Most people think a dollar bill is real money. See where I'm getting? If people want to be followers and do what other people do, then you can't be surprised if you're led off of a cliff. Because the average person is afraid to be an individual. Because like you see with my videos, when I do things that may not be mainstream, may not be the most popular thing, may not be what everybody wants to hear, read, or see, I do it because I feel it's what I want to do. And you see the consequences of it. I get people that attack me. You see people will thumb down my videos, every single one, no matter what I do, because some people, that's just their way of expressing that they don't like me. But I'm not afraid to be an individual. People tend to follow other people because it makes them feel comfortable. They feel safe. Like, for example, if you like PlayStation 4, you want a whole bunch of other people to say, I like it too, because then it makes you feel like, well, I spent that money wisely because everybody else likes it, so it must be okay. But if you're a person that decided to say, well, I prefer the Wii U, well, the people that love the PS4 are going to say, oh, you like the Wii U. Are you an idiot? Are you stupid? Are you this, you that? And actually try and make you feel bad because you decided to make a decision based on your preference. And a lot of people are so afraid to go against what is normal or mainstream that they will actually base their decisions on the approval of others. And what I try and teach on my channel, if I can teach anything, it is for people to be individuals and not be afraid of what other people think because it is nothing more than an opinion. And yes, it can affect you. Like, for example, when people have made fun of me, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm a heartless person and I don't feel things, but I, you don't see a, neck to, a rope to my neck. You don't see me slicing my wrists open. You don't see me stopping my channel. It's because I don't let them affect me. But people will try that because I, for some reason, am not liked by certain people who want a certain agenda. And that doesn't mean it has to be a government agenda. It could be anything. That's why I use the example of video games. Because there are people that actually will say, if you're not doing this, or you're not wearing that, or you don't know these people, then you are not popular. And therefore, we can't like you. So most people, most people are going to talk about sports, are going to talk about video games, are going to talk about celebrities, are going to talk about musicians. They're not going to talk about government and issues about money or currency or what's going on in this world, like my videos about Nikola Tesla, or Nikola Tesla, so thank you for the correction, by the way, from some people. They're not going to talk about precious metals. And again, precious metals, You'll either love them or you'll hate them. Now, here I am just showing I got a couple of pieces of palladium, and there's one person, and there may be many more that would say, oh, that's a dumb idea, or you should go in this direction. Well, I do what I want, just like you should do what you want, and never give in 
to what people say you should do because that's why they call the masses, or at least we do, we call the masses sheep or cattle. Why? Because sheep and cattle will line up and follow other sheep and cattle, even if it's to their death and its slaughter. So just because you follow what most do does not mean it's a smart decision or even a right decision. But again, freedom of choice allows you to do whatever you want. If you want to be a follower so it's easier to take responsibility off of yourself and post it on a situation or an event or a society, well, if that makes your life easier, then that's what you need to do. But that's not a strong person. A strong person is not a follower. A strong person is not a person that just says, agrees with what other people say to fit in. That's not strong. Now, there may be strong people physically. There may be strong people that consider themselves tough. They could be scary people that bully people, but that doesn't make them strong in the heart. Just because you could bully somebody into trying to force an agenda, I mean, isn't that exactly what governments do? Isn't exactly what they're doing with the monetary policy, trying to use the U.S. dollar throughout the world and murdering people all around the planet that try to go in alternative ways? Yeah, you could bully people. That's not the kind of strength I want. If that's the kind of strength that makes you happy, you know, good luck with that. So be an individual and don't worry about most people. So this video is not to insult that person. This, this is uh, actually a great video for me to talk about because a lot of people are so afraid to be individuals because of the way they will get chastised. And people like myself who are not afraid to stand up for what they believe in, who talk about things that what they feel are right or should be at least discussed, I can get attacked all the time, and I will. There are going to be people who hate me who don't even know me, and they're basing it on my ideas. And last time I checked, in an actual real free society, aren't we supposed to be allowed to make any decisions as long as we're not infringing on the rights of others? Because I may not like these trolls or some of the people who don't agree with me and do it in a nasty, degrading, childish way, but I don't know them as people, nor do I ever care to. But I would never try and stop them from their beliefs. I just stop them from trying to impose their beliefs on me. That's not freedom. That's more of a dictatorship. Is that what you want? If that's the case, then you're a perfect follower. But I know a lot of my subscribers, they probably want to be more individuals. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.